This game is played to find out what is the relationship between two persons uh, based on their name. Okay, so in this case, I took two names. One is Krish and the other one is Priya. Okay, so the first step is uh, we want to figure out is there any letters uh, is present in both names. Okay, so in this case, R is present in both names. So we want to remove that letter R. Okay. I also present in both names so we want to remove i also okay so if we remove those two letters the remaining letters are k s h from krish uh, p y a from priya okay so the remaining letter count is six okay so based on this count what you want to do we want to look through this list okay so we want to count okay one two three four five six okay once we reach six okay because the remaining letters are six okay so once we reach six we want to remove that letter okay so in this case s is removed so uh, same uh, we want to count again one two three four five six okay so f is uh, the sixth element so we want to remove f okay and so on so far we want to do this until we find out the last letter okay so once we reach the last letter let's say for example a if we reach a the relationship is affection if we the last letter is m the relationship is marriage and so on so forth so this is how it's working so let's jump into the coding part okay okay so the first step is what we want to do we want to remove duplicate letters from both of these names and we want to figure out uh, the remaining letters okay so let's create a function for that uh, div uh, find remaining remaining letter count okay find remaining letter count it will take two arguments one is name one and name two okay so what we want to do is we want to look through the letters from for letter in name one okay so what we are doing just taking each uh, letters from this name one okay k r and uh, okay and so on so once what you uh, look through this letter and then what you want to do you want to check whether that letter is present in name two also okay so if this letter also present in name two okay so we want to look through this name one letters okay for example the first in the first loop uh, the letter will be k okay because this is krish okay name one is krish the first letter is k okay so we check that k is present in name two okay so in this case no okay so then just we will drop that okay we want to remove we don't want to remove any letters so and then we will look through the second letter which is r so then we check that letter is present okay that r is present in name 2 okay so yes okay so the r is present in name 2 also okay so then what we want to do we want to drop that r from name 1 also name 2 okay so let's do that so let's say name 1 is equals to name 1 dot replace there is a function called replace for string okay replace uh, which letter we want to replace we want to replace letter okay so we want to replace letter in this case the second loop r okay so you want to remove r and okay, we want to replace that letter r by empty string what it will do it just remove that letter r okay so also you want to do the same thing for name 2 so we want to remove that letter name 2 also okay so name two dot replace letter with empty string okay so to this code what it will do it just remove all the uh, letters that both present in both names okay so then what you want to do we want to uh, count how many letters are there okay remaining letters so for that uh, let's concatenate both of these names okay so the final name is name one plus name two okay python has a function called len okay so this function will count how many letters or characters in this string okay so name letter count okay sorry let's call it letter count okay letter count and then we will return return letter count okay 
let's run this function and see is it's working properly okay fine remaining letter count name one and name two okay name two so here you can see the remaining letter count is six so it's working properly okay so it's correct so the next part is we want to look through this flame string and we want to drop the uh, elements one by one till reach the last element okay so let's see how to do that okay so here i'll create another variable flames count basically let's say how many letters in this flames okay so for now when we initialize there there will be six okay so but we have to drop one by one okay so if we drop s it's it's going to be five four three two one okay so we want to do this till flames count is one okay so when we initialize the flames count is six okay so the letter count also letter count is six okay so it's basically mean our remaining letter count this okay remaining letter count okay this one uh, so here i will create two things one is uh, flames count and other one is index we want to drop okay index we want to to drop okay index we want to drop so here when flame count is six okay when flame count is six which index we want to drop okay so here this is how index is going to be represented one two three four five six basically in python uh, list indexing is starting from zero but for illustrating papers i just starting from one okay so this is the index when flame count is six which index we want to drop of course we want to drop this six index okay because one two three four five six okay we want to drop this s okay so the index was six okay so we just drop this yeah so when we drop that the flame count is going to be five okay because there are only five characters there okay so frame count is going to be five okay so when frame count is five and letter count is six which index we want to drop here you can see one two three four five six okay you want to drop index one okay okay so if you drop that drop that flame count is going to be four okay flames count is going to be four when flames count flames count is four and letter count is six which index we want to drop one two three four five six we want to drop index two okay index two okay so if you drop index two the flames index going to be three okay flames index going to be three so when flames index is going to be th when flame count, count is three, which index we want to drop? One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to drop index three. Okay. So I will explain why I am doing this. Okay. Uh, please give me a moment. I will just write this and I will explain. Okay. So now flames count is three. Okay. So when flame count is three we want to drop the index three okay so this one going to be dropped now flames count is two flames count is two the index we want to drop is one two three four five six we want to drop this index okay index two so when we reach this place we just found that the relationship is low okay so now i will explain okay so if you look at this you can find a pattern here okay just look at this so when flame count is six and letter count also six the index we want to drop is six okay so here i'm just explaining letter count when we divide the letter count by the flame count okay flame count in this case six okay so we can divide okay we if we can divide by if we can divide letter count by the flame count that same flame count is present here okay index as index okay so here you can see the same so flame count when letter count is six the flame count is c okay three okay so we can divide okay we can divide six by three so that flame count is present here okay as index we want to drop is same here you can see two we can uh, divide six 
okay letter count 6 by 2 so, okay so we can divide 6 by 2 so th that same frame count is present as index we want to drop okay so based on this we can come to a conclusion that if if flame count flame count can be sorry if letter count letter count can be dividable dividable by flames count the index we want to the index we want to drop is flames count okay flames count flames count okay so this is the index we want to drop okay so this is first conclusion the second one is see look at here so if letter count cannot be see here if letter count cannot be divided by flame count okay if we divide 5 here you can see it cannot be divided okay we can't divide 6 by 5 but look at the remaining if you see the remaining so if we if we divide 6 by 5 the remaining is 1 okay that one is present here as the index we want to drop okay okay so as same here if letter count is 6 okay we can't divide 6 by 4 okay flame count 4 okay we can't divide 6 by 4 but if you look at the remaining the same remaining is here index we want to drop so the second conclusion is that if letter count cannot be dividable dividable by flames count then index we want to, to drop is what basically the remainder remainder value okay remainder okay remainder letter count letter count divided by uh, flames count remainder okay so it's remainder okay it's remain if letter count if we divide flame count it cannot be dividable then the remainder is the index we want to drop okay remainder is the index we want to drop okay drop okay let's implement this okay let's implement this to implement only thing we need to know is is, is letter count can be dividable by flames count or not okay if it cannot be dividable we want to know the remainder that's that's going to be the index we want to drop okay so for this python has a special syntax mathematical syntax called module for example let's say letter count is six okay so and flames count is six okay so if we divide letter count by flames count it's going to be the remainder is going to be zero okay because it can be dividable okay so here letter count module okay this is the syntax a special syntax okay module okay divided by flames count so here you can see it say the remainder is zero it's basically used to find the remainder okay so if i say flame count is five if we six, if we divide six by five what is the remainder remainder is one actually okay of course so here you can see if i say flames count is four if i count if i say let's count divided by i mean six divided by four okay so then the remainder is going to be two okay so here you go okay so if i say letter count six divided by three what is the remainder remainder is zero okay so what does that mean if the remainder is zero what does that mean basically mean that it's a uh, dividable number okay flames count is dividable number okay so here yeah, this is the remain remaining value remaining value okay remaining value so what does that mean if remaining value is zero if remaining value is zero is equal to zero what does that mean 
dividable okay so based on this conclusion uh, the drop index is going to be what if it can be dividable if flame flames count is dividable the drop index is flames count okay flames count if it cannot be dividable what is the drop index drop index is going to be the remaining value okay first remaining value okay, this remaining value okay so then what we want to we just want to drop that okay so to drop that python has a special function called pop okay frames dot drop frames dot oh sorry pop frames dot pop here you can see we want to provide the index that we want to drop okay so if you see the doc string you can see remove and return item at index okay it's just going to remove that element from the flames list okay so we want to provide the index so in this case the drop index okay but basically we can't pass the drop index like this because uh, when it comes to python python list indexing is starting from zero okay not from one so we just want to add a minus one okay we want to for example if it's six okay so if the drop index is six we want to subtract one okay so then then it's going to be, then only it's going to be work properly if not it's going to throw list index out of range uh, range error okay okay so yeah okay now we want to use while len of flames len of flames okay not equals to one okay we want to do this till flames count len of flames is equals to one okay like the last uh, element okay so not equals to one if when it is equals to one it's going to break this loop okay so the letter count is this okay so, just, so this is the letter count letter count and flames count is going to be what flames count is put it here baby flames count is equals to len of flames okay so remaining value we will find the drop index and then we will drop okay so let's run this okay, I don't want this now. let's run this and see what is the remaining letter okay so here you can see the remaining letter is l okay so it's working properly so now what we want to do we just want to print that okay so here you can see there is a dictionary called meaning so meaning dictionary meaning dictionary and then flames zero okay zero element or minus one okay whatever you want you can call it zero so here you can see it just say print love okay so we can print love okay so it just output the uh, relationship okay so so that's it for today's video guys. Thank you. Bye.